The Cedar spacesuit. The future of spacesuits. Advanced technologies and huge investments made this spacesuit a legend even before the label classified was removed from its development. In such a spacesuit, you could just take the energy core of a liner with your bare hands, fasten it to any intact engine, and fly it to the other end of the galaxy. Probably. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. Yes, as you might be able to tell from the fact that I'm not synced up with my video. Yes, there, it just goes, that's where I would usually say hello. I am doing post-commentary again because, sh uh, because Shadowplay has proven itself to be the inferior technology. Yes, all our recording in the future will be done with OBS. But yes, we have a sexy big low the yellow. The won't reduce the core's activity, but will increase your radiation resistance, which is equivalent. Almost. It looks like we've done the task. The sensors detect a significant decrease in radiation. Of all the potential of the Cedar spacesuit, you managed to use only its improved material for the lining. But even this is enough to increase your chances of survival. Yeah, so a sudden clusterfuck of things is going to be happening. By the way, did you notice that you passed the third chapter? I think I forgot to display the text about it. No, no, you were. Babe, what happened to Kor? Why there is constantly explosion? It become less bright. Unfortunately, it's still impossible to track the location of your interlocutor. If some kind of script doesn't trigger here right now, we'll be stuck here for a long time. Yeah, Space Suit wasn't content with just interrupting Babe. He had to interrupt himself. That's... But I think Chapter 4 started quite a while ago, didn't it? Seems like you did something wrong, as always. I suggest you start a new game and try again. Come to think of it, forget it. Judging by the analysis of my sensors, the launch mayonnaise was completely absorbed by the core and destabilized it. The radiation level decreased to a critical minimum. It's time to visit Normandy before it's too late. You know, normally when you hear critical, you don't expect the next word to be minimum. But yes, the suit didn't just interrupt Babe, he interrupted himself. That's impressive. So, Babe, what happened to Core? Why there is constantly explosion? It become less bright, you try to stop it? I see little interference. You'll be able to find my signal and we finally meet each other. Yes. And suit. Eh, where was it? Uh, unfortunately, it's still impossible to track the location of your interlocutor by the incoming signal. She's probably too far away and the core's activity interferes with the suit's sensors. I don't think that was what he interrupted himself with, but I also don't think I was smart enough to realize that at the time. Oh boy. Yes, Shadowplay has sinned one too many times. Ah yes, and here I was, remembering that I needed to make a new scanner. That was, uh, that was always a bit of a derp. And it's a tragedy too, because this chapter had a lot of stuff that had me absolutely cracking up. Because, yeah, I decided I wasn't going to just mop up the area first. I was just going to get out of here. I wanted to be done with this area. And I was rewarded vastly with comedic things, my reaction to which is just completely lost to the wind now, tragically. So yes, in the future, all recordings will be done with OBS now. Even though I can't separate out my audio to edit it in post, I think I've got my OBS filters set up to an acceptable level, hopefully. Ah yes, I built the indoor dock for the jet bike here. That uh, little floor dock that was taunting us, and it works more or less as you would expect. It causes the bike to appear indoors. And I will meet you over at the Normandy in just a second. According to my calculations, the next decrease in the radiation level will occur in 17 hours when the shell of the core overheats. The decrease in the radiation level will be significant, and it will last from 3 to 10 seconds, after which the explosion will follow, splitting us into atoms. With this in mind, it's highly recommended that you hurry. Yeah, that makes that whole critical minimum thing a, a bit more urgent. I suppose that the radiation pressure must somehow be involved in the regulation of the core. That's, uh... The only thing I can think of that works like that is stars. That's interesting. Well, I guess maybe it's a fusion reactor. Hmm. But yes, the junkyard surrounding the Normandy is a fascinating sight. I think it's one of the most beautiful parts of this entire map. 
and it leads into a couple of interesting mysteries. All this lycoplasma around had me... There's just one question that tickles my mind. Why are there so many damaged coffins? Aside from that, these coffins have limbs, weapons, and undoubtedly active AI units, judging by the weak signals coming from their remains. Yes, mysteries indeed. But all the lines of lycoplasma made me constantly think honest, that they're... I'd rather not know what all of this means. That's probably wise, Suit. They made me think that there were asteroid turrets around, it so I was... the Normandy team died heroically fighting with coffins, which goes beyond any and all logic. On the other hand, the fact that you are still alive goes beyond any and all logic as well. In this regard, there's a most of the ship's systems are functioning nominally, but it will take a little effort if we are going to fly away from here. Suit, you really gotta get out of that new habit of yours. Oof, the music is loud in this compartment. Shepard liked his bass boosting, I guess. Ah, yes, here we are. It seems that the Normandy team died heroically fighting with coffins, which goes beyond any and all logic. On the other hand, the fact that you are still alive goes beyond any and all logic as well. In this regard, there's a chance that the coffins might be aggressive. It's recommended that you look around carefully and try to stay safe. That's at least my guess, because I closed that out way too fast. I guess I didn't read the whole thing. Ah, yes, the kitchen. I haven't used this thing properly yet, but I'm guessing that it allows you to create these food packets without the use of ice. Like, it's just a kitchen sink. Because it only says nutritious goo. It doesn't say ice. So, food's a little bit cheaper. That's nice. Wheel is broken, but the rest is in order. And finally, we uncover the mystery of what the steering wheel is for. Oh, I was overjoyed at that. That was a mystery that was bothering me the whole time. Especially since between this is episodes. The autopilot course. We can't change it without a living captain in any way. Not even with a handy scrapper. However, it's highly unlikely that the captain calculated such a complex route for no particular reason, so we'd better not touch it at all. I need some time for analysis. Hmm, yes. Analyze why he would possibly be going there. But uh yes, I found the fourth steering wheel between episodes. It was in a little engineering ship near the night errant that I just hadn't stumbled across until then. So I was overjoyed at the fact that I'd finally solved that mystery of the four steering wheels. A, 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 a ZAZ-1, as well as Grogan the Barbarian, an amazing movie, a jock of the Grogan race. In our childhood, if we found any fluorescent lamps in the trash, we always played Grogan and fought with our lightsabers. It was fun, especially the part of pulling out splinters from our rumps. Mm. Kind of got a, a No More Heroes style lightsaber with a cap on it. And I don't know what that's about. It looks kind of like Shepard, but at the same time, it has the little antennas on the helmet, which is a distinctly breath edge thing. And I don't think we've seen any pictures of Shepard with a helmet, so it, it could go either way. Mysteries. And yes, a lovely piece of candy for us as well there. These robots don't have any built-in weapons. I wonder where they got so many blasters. The lack of weapons in the military module hits at a definite answer, though. Yes. That was a bit of a mystery, wasn't it? And I was right that the guns belonged to the military module. My logic with that robot was perfectly valid. I don't know why it didn't accept it. So many interesting little bits of scrap in this area. I was going absolutely bug nuts over it. I was overjoyed. And sadly, very little of it is actually usable. It's but, unlikely that all these robots appeared here by accident. But it certainly does lead one to some interesting little facts they're finding. Oh, yes. Well, at this point, I was getting eager to go and find the steering wheel, I think as well as trying to figure out what I needed to do with the Normandy. We can't do without some repair work here. Yes. So I needed to find a maneuver engine and I needed the steering wheel. And I, I didn't quite notice those three symbols on the warp gate itself. I I just decided, yeah, that's all I needed. Ah, yes. And then I noticed that guy over there. And he looked a little bit like he had an active faceplate. So I was going in to get more arrows. Like, well, I ain't dealing with that without a whole lot of time. And I think I hear where I was just reminding myself of what a recipe for a maneuver engine took. 
eventually finding it. Yes, there it is. And I determined, yeah, that's doable. Between that and the steering wheel, I was ready to go. But yes, that was not, in fact, a face that was just a, a face hole. Please note, the coffin is almost intact. Maybe we could fiddle with it a bit. Don't fiddle with things you don't understand, suit. It's rude. And possibly dirty. Aw, oh, they shook hands. It's hard to give this thing a name. Such research has never been mentioned anywhere. It mostly looks like a small computer. With some kind of goo inside. Ugh. The goo. They're powered by the smooths. There is no description of this equipment in my database. I assume this is the central robot system, and it seems to be powered by the products of natural decay. In simple words, these robots run on decomposed corpses. They're zombie robots, my god. Ah. To Captain of Normandy, from his worst enemies, die please. No. A propaganda poster featuring one of Earth's most famous captains, a talented pilot who made a career by doing seemingly the most hopeless tasks of the military council, and who also made a lot of enemies, and at least a couple of special friends. Ooh la la. I've heard that Captain Shepard is a woman, but I wouldn't want to check it. You know, these days you really can't judge it from the posters. Yeah. You're probably right about not wanting to check it anyway, suit. That's a way to get yourself a discrimination lawsuit. All the little trails of lycoplasma. I wonder why my own guns don't seem to leave them. This is real gold. Judging by the inventory number, this is the coffin of one of the leaders of the party. However, the leader is nowhere to be seen. It seems that apart from aggressive armed coffins, we also have traces of corruption in the party. Just little traces here and there. You know, you think that instead of spending all their slush fund money on a golden coffin, they'd spend it on, like, life extension or something. I think that would be the real- Ah, yes, I remember this. I was trying to determine if, in fact, the suit was zap-resistant, and in fact it is not. It's just radiation-resistant. Tragedy. At least it gives us an excuse to go back to the earlier suits. Yes, I think here I was just gathering up one last gasp of air, and then I would be heading out, heading over to that new engineering ship that I'd found to get the last of the steering wheels and get myself ready to get out of this zone. I'll see you there in just a second. Shepard. Rex. And here we are at that engineering ship I told you about. Yes, it's right near the Knight Errant. I just didn't stumble across because I guess I never took the southern path. And this would have given us a convenient recipe for the enhanced handy scrapper, which would have been useful quite a while ago. I think, yeah, I, I built the enhanced handy scrapper well before the Knight Errant anyway. But yes, we now know how to build a steering wheel. Oh, glorious day. The mysteries of the universe open up before us. And thankfully, both it and the new maneuver engine that we had to build were just some things. It required some minimum resource gathering. I think I needed more titanium or something. But it wasn't an arduous task by any means. I will get back to you once we are back at the Normandy with all the stuff together in order to get going at last. Ah... Can you feel the excitement? Can you feel the tension rising up in your gut as I derpily look at the intercom? The yes. Wheel is ready and it even works. Probably. Probably is good enough. That's what we've run this entire thing on. But yes, we also needed an engine. How dare I forget? But indeed, an engine I had. That should work. I hope. You already repaired such an engine once, but it looked different somehow. Well, it's just a different paint job suit. Never mind that it's a completely different size than the one we replaced before. It, it's perfectly what we built. Exactly. Yes, we, we, we didn't exactly have that part, but we don't need that part. We, we just need to repair the warp gate, which I finally noticed. And I was praying and hoping that I didn't have to go back for yet another trip. <clears throat> As you do. But, 
with three things needing doing, I was getting apprehensive. I was worrying that I'd screwed up, that I still had more to do. But as it turns out, all we needed was to just take out our repair tool, which had exactly enough uses. That's great. It looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. Can't really see it in this light, but I'm sure that it's exactly a perfect example of our engineering know-how that we've accrued so tenaciously over all this work. Yes, this is more like it. This one will give us a solid look at it. Almost done. Oh, just look at that. That's gorgeous. It's working like a charm. We're brilliant. I mean, to be fair, that's probably exactly what the engineers in this world would be doing. But yes, the fact that I had exactly enough repair tool, eh, that might come back to bite me later on. Because <clears throat> I kind of just got excited and wanted to get going. Great job. Unfortunately, the station's control units are still broken, but the good news is that you don't need them to launch Normandy at all. I just wanted to keep you busy while I was doing some important calculations. Yeah, nothing like good old-fashioned busy work. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had some valid repairs to do. That steering wheel needed replacement. Come on, suit. We, we, we helped. Don't denigrate our contribution. But yes, I wasn't going back and making a new repair tool. I was just going to get going. That's not hubristic at all. That's exactly what we should be doing. Ooh. That's it. Space, here it, we come. Start it, the engine. Yep, yep, yep. It is so tempting. It is so tempting, and I fell to the temptation. If I could just... Ah, after making a warp jump, you won't be able to return temporarily. Temporarily! It's just a temporary problem. We'll be fine. And... Ooh, it's full of stars! I think I see my arms detaching from my torso. Yep. It's full of loading screens. Oh my god. Babe? I yes. apologize for the restart window. I'm not good with abrupt acceleration. It, it's okay. I hope we don't need parts of the ship that fell off along the way that much. No, that'll be case, fine. Normandy won't survive one more acceleration or any flight at all. I suggest we find a place to dock and inspect the shuttle. I'm... By the way, I'd like to note that leaving the shuttle and going into outer space, we don't have enough engine power to activate the weapons. Yeah, that that was on me. I tried to click, babe. Your signal change. Are you fly on Normandy? Team alive? They kill you. Don't trust them. You must take control and find me. Paranoia is a type of chronic psychosis common for adulthood. Either your interlocutor knows something we don't, or she's an old woman. It could be both, suit. Don't, don't... The ship won't hold up long, so take your time. I will, suit. But don't cut down on your options like that. I mean, it could be multi-source paranoia. Ah, yes, and here I was. Uh, da, da, da. By the way, I'd like to note that leaving the shuttle and going into outer space in such a short distance from the core is impossible, unless you want to turn into jelly. Yes, I, I knew that I had to speed read that one. And oof, the ship is limping along, and I'm not helping it by janking it around in every which way. See, I thought we'd be flying right into the core, but I guess we're taking a circuitous route around it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit slow. See you in a second. That's a suitable place to dock. Looks like a part of the liner's garage module. Maybe we'll find some parts for Normandy there. Ah, yes, here we are. Lovely. Even has a docking There's procedure. A for accurate docking installed here. That's great. Yes, heaven. Or perhaps for not so accurate docking. It looks like the engines have failed completely now, and we'll never get to the accelerating station. Yeah, I'd say that you don't want to trust me to do it, but maybe we would have done a better job. Ah. Please go to the reception. Welcome. Go to the center. Please. Oh, more. Error, error. Welcome, diagnostics. Uh, uh, please.
please. Yeah, that that's a hell of a way to get greeted. Isn't it? Yeah. They certainly run a surviving diagnostic station. However, it doesn't sound like it's functioning nominally. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's exactly how it's supposed to run. Maybe it just really enjoys its job. Don't judge suit. This worker apparently saw the death of the previous one and started running away, not looking where he was running, and without a helmet. When he clearly it needed looks like one. He was accidentally killed by the diagnostic station. I can't find any other reason for this injury. Yeah, that's a, that's a mystery one. Because as far as I can tell, the diagnostic station isn't homicidal. It doesn't really have any means of committing homicide. The diagnostics panel works, although this part clearly doesn't belong here. Well, I don't know. It, it, it could just be exactly what it needs to run. It, it has a hole to fit in, and where there's a hole, there's a goal. That's just how it goes, suit. Don't be racist. Yes, I, I don't think I quite noticed what part he was pointing out at the time. Or I was just distracted by all the shinies. That's more likely knowing myself. Yes, there it is. Hey! Don't touch it! Put it back! What are you doing? Put it back! You're saying you want me to put it in? Well, okay. it a bit more. I think at this rate we'll achieve nothing because this thing is short-circuiting the diagnostic station's brains. Well, I mean, everyone needs a good short-circuiting every once in a while suit. Really? We we just we just need we we're, we're the interloper here. Come on, we can't interrupt a good thing. Then then again, she doesn't seem to Put it back. Are you messing around with me? Put it Oh, yes, back in. Ugh, you jerk. This diagnostic station is faulty, but we don't have any other one. The excess voltage is melting its circuits. You need to bring it to its senses somehow. Bring you back to your senses, you dirty undies with a helmet. If you don't stop coming at me. Hey, you're the one coming at me, station. You heard me. A gear shift. I have no idea what it's doing on the diagnostic station, but I know for sure it's amazingly beautiful. Together with the Christmas tree air freshener, such a gear shift turns any jalopy into a masterpiece of the car industry. Well, we are just going to swank up everything we own at this rate. Yes, I really should have been gathering up all the stuff. I needed quite a lot of it. Here. We'll have to look for some controls. You better look for the remnants of your dignity, you lousy pajamas. You know, the subtitles really don't seem to agree with her spoken dialogue. I wonder if that was a disagreement on the voice actress's part, perhaps? Maybe she was just taking it as stage directions for how to read her lines? I don't know. But yes, this long corridor was my enemy. I hate it. Because I had to go up and down this a couple of times looking for stuff. That's partially my own idiocy, but this... This hallway was just unnecessary. The elevators in my aren't working. Although it's not recommended to use elevators during a fire, earthquake, or the diagnostic station self torture. Is that really on the official list of things that can happen that we you want to avoid an elevator for? I mean, I haven't read it in my last uh, ah magnetic master key. Yes, I was at least smart enough to gather up all of these that I could find. Non conductive gel, you say? Hmm. A special gel for the attenuation of radiation, heat, and electrically conductive properties of materials. Theoretically, you can apply it to your bare chest and jump out into outer space without a spacesuit. But for some reason, you wouldn't want to do this. Yes, the manliness of it would cause poor Babe to explode. That's why. That and the fact that you don't have air. And if it's an insulator, then... Well, space is already an insulator, so you're going to cook yourself alive from your own body heat even if you don't have uh, the vacuum pressure to worry about, and even if you find a way to somehow become anaerobically breathing. Yeah, the, the heat diagnostics room. You can say that this is the brain of the whole diagnostic station, and this brain is malfunctioning. You are the one who's malfunctioning, you funerary diaper. 
<laughs> the central processor. I thought such a fragile thing should be protected somehow, and not be just sticking out of the floor like this. I stick out and in however I want. Repeatedly and enthusiastically by the sound of things. And yeah. The central processor protection control console. Just poke all the buttons. That's how you do that. That, that not nothing working. could go wrong. No, something's wrong. Well, we didn't do the it. The processor it, control panel. We can restart the whole station with it. Whatever's going wrong was going wrong before we got here. It's not in any way our fault, and the lawsuits will never show otherwise. Processor dome. Yes, I didn't quite notice that I got a new recipe there. But uh, this was a little bit of hunting around, going back and forth, finding resources on the station. I was at least right to get this non-conductive gel, but I had to hunt down a lot of lead. And it was maybe 15, 20 minutes of me running around looking for things. There should be a voice control module at the station here, as well as its speech filters. Maybe that's why it keeps calling us names? No, it or could just be your... you're a useless garment that keeps babbling too much. Yeah, great minds think alike, Station. You know me. You understand me. Gravity module. Spaceships don't have gravity. Everyone knows that. While scientists from the Institute regarding the problems of mass are puzzling over anti-gravity fields, modern spaceships are equipped with the Paleozoic system of magnets that simulate gravity, and everything is controlled from such small devices. Well, I know that the engineers have mag strips on their boots, but for the rest of us, hmm, it could just be metal in the suit? Or, or it could be, like, I once saw a video of a bunch of, uh, like, cryogenically cooled super magnets levitating a frog. Not like a frog that they fed iron or anything, but just a frog. It's locked from the inside. I think it had to do with the diamagnetic properties of water, where with a high enough charge they kind of all start exhibiting those properties. It just required a crap ton of gauss. Maybe that's what's going on here. We're a space frog. I like that thought. Ribbit, ribbit. Yes, I'll, I'll see you after I finish derping around and I go and construct the thing I need to construct. The processor dome. Let's consider this thing can easily fit in a pocket. I don't know why the spacesuit keeps cutting out the scenes of me sweating over multi-ton objects, but all my hernias will be on its conscience. I hope this dome is really that necessary. Yep. And uh, sure enough, I didn't have everything I needed, and it would be a little while searching. Oh boy. But yeah, that's an arduous search that you don't need to be exposed to. Because uh, we can just magic it away. And yep, it's a. If the stage doesn't like it, then we're doing it right. Yeah, that, that's kind of how it works with ones like her. What kind of people are you? It looks like the unprotected processor was causing power supply overload. This should help a little. Really, if she wants to. Yourself, sweat smelling piece of junk. If she wants like us we'll to stop, she should... Voltage first. Thank you, suit. If she wants us to stop, she should really use her safe word. Her safe word against us taking back the torture. <sighs> Not sure how that one works. Someone removed the protection from the processor and tried to connect it directly to the coffins. I don't know why anyone would want to run diagnostics on coffins, but the result is obvious. Yeah, why would coffins want a bunch of processing power and electricity? This rotor is damaged. It's not quite needed for the diagnostic station's work. It'd be better to turn it off somehow. Yes, I kind of learned my lesson about picking up everything. At least everything These that the was... controlling the rotor's speed. That was obviously useful. Yeah, how? No instructions whatsoever. Just kind of poke at them and see what to do. It's not all that complicated, I suppose. Pull harder. Yes, pull it out. And hey, she enjoys our efforts. Working. You should first press the left one, then the right one, or maybe the middle one. There are too many combinations. I have no idea how anyone could guess the right one. Pull harder. Yes, pull it out. It's not working. You should first press the Pull harder. Yes, pull it out. Yeah, there, there's... Perfect. We'll get there. You managed to break the rotor. It doesn't matter, though. 
too bad it didn't <laughs> hit you. Well, it hit you, and that's what you're into, Station, so really you should be thanking me. Yeah, I probably should have got some of that titanium. This oh, looks like well. passageway to the debugging compartment. Perfect. Yeah, debugging. I'm, I'm sure that that's what she needs. This is a bug and not a feature. I'm sure. Completely. Not at all intended. Are you sure we won't just make the situation worse? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I get it. He was the he was the chief debugger and he just gave up. I thought he was just like a janitor who had been living here. This was a nice little living compartment he had. There's something wrong here. I don't know what this dead man was trying to do, but the compensators shouldn't be under voltage. Yeah, those are uh, compensators. Really, really pointy, erect compensators with with jumper cables on them. That's that's not unexpected. Well, we can't really safely poke it with a chicken. That would just be a bit too much. Touch the clips. Oh. There's less stuttering in its voice. Looks like everything is coming along all right. No, we're trying to stop it coming along. Keep up, suit. Ah, uh, alternative engineering, yes. Explains a bit, doesn't it? The book series in the footsteps of Fifty Shades. Alternative engineering. Another alternative methodology from another alternatively gifted author. I remember reading this while trying to cure an unpleasant illness. The illness quickly turned into two more illnesses, and I had to urgently turn to traditional medicine. Y yeah I know it's supposed to be ticker tape, but with the, the way it's mounted, it really looks like toilet paper, doesn't it? Which would honestly fit. And I like the little Jedi and Sith with the electro lightsaber whips in the background. Mm-hmm. I guess that explains the Mickey Mouse ears too, doesn't it? At least these days. In her previous books, ah, it's from Book Publisher, yes. In her previous books, such as Alternative Medicine Through Strangulation and Alternative Programming with a Bandage, the author was already touched on the topic of psycho-emotional changes in personality as a result of stressful physical interactions. In her new scientific work, the famous writer will reveal the secrets of successful engineering of complex self-learning systems through the prism of the suffering of an ordinary After robot. Resounding success in the movies, they predicted this robot would have a great future. Poor fellow. How did he end up participating in something like this? By the way, it's now clear how this station was maintained and why it became deranged. Yeah, yeah. The debuggers really wouldn't help us. Although that doesn't explain why the one of them was... Like, you'd think that with all this going on, he'd just be overjoyed that it's going exactly according to plan. Ah, yes, a thing that we can extract with a thing that we need. Yeah, that was... That was bad. That was bad on my part. I felt real bad. Especially since, as we found out at this point, we had one of these. Probably. Probably. And, uh, yep, at this point it was more resource hunting. I mean, at least it would give me an excuse to get that filtration unit right. Right? By the way, I had to run all the way back to the processor each and every time. Through this entire huge and twisting station, including that one hallway of, up, of utter just pointlessness. The pointlessly long hallway of pointlessness. Can you tell I was getting mad at this point? I was getting mad. See you in a second. While searching for the ever rare aluminum, I found I stumbled across this. An audio recording. Rebecca Blick, Monday, 18 hours, cycled. A famous song, although to be honest, I don't know much about music, so it's hard for me to judge it. It's hard to listen to it, but it's what kind of monsters played an 18-hour recording of this song? It looks like this recording is the reason why the station's entire voice module burned down and it became so aggressive. I think the final words would have been, it's even harder to judge. 
Yes. <laughs> I, I cut myself off there. No, oh, the wonders never cease today. Yep, here we are with all the tools we need. At last. I hope. Well, I know, but I hoped at the time. Yes. Yes. The filter. A first-class multi-stage filtration capsule for small spacecrafts. I can imagine how it works, but I don't know how to build one myself. These filters were created by entire scientific departments, and it's unlikely that scientists were limited to were limited to just electrical tape. You would be surprised. You would really be surprised. We get to play this game again. Remember this one? No, no, not quite three. No, two if you're lucky. One if you don't want to be greedy. And I always want to be greedy, which is why I go for it. Even though I know... Yeah, that was bizarre. The chicken dielectric failed. Don't touch anything. I don't even know if that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're responding to the subtitles or to the text there, oh, but... Uh, it has a toggle switch. Disgusting. Well, how else do you expect me to turn her on or off in this case? Come on, suit. Where's your sense don't of adventure? Touch anything. This should help a little, although touching a toggle switch, even to survive, I really don't know. Push Are you a sh switch to on? Uh, push it to on. Now, can you hear it? I can't hear its angry babbling either. Looks like it's time to reboot the central processor. Are you just ashamed of the size of your toggle switch suit? Is that the issue here? It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's how you use it, suit. What happened? Did you just reboot me by just pushing the button? I take it you'll continue damaging the equipment until I run diagnostics? Well then, uh, the core of your shuttle is melting, the weapons are uncalibrated, passive defense is not installed, active defense is not installed. It's nothing but uh, a tin can. Happy now? Uh, I'll fix your engines and you'll get out of here. Okay. Okay. That's a good deal, and the only possible one. The diagnostic station is not designed for complex repairs at all. It's time to return to Normandy. By the way, maybe we could fast travel there. Ooh, that's something I would have appreciated this whole time. Hmm, we're still here. Apparently there's no fast travel in this game. We'll have to go back on foot. That's a shame. I picked out such a nice visual effect, such beautiful sounds, and such a nice loading bar. Have you seen it? Yeah, your hallucination suite continues to impress suit. Oh, you're back already? It's done. By the way, you were saying something about going to the accelerating station. I want to inform you that without a friend or foe system, the protective systems of the liner's row will destroy you. Good luck. I'm sure we won't last long without decent repairs, so even the security systems won't be needed for the shuttle to fall apart. As for the friend or foe identification system, I don't know anything about it. Is she giving our ship a good spanking? Well, I didn't I didn't peg her as a switch. I didn't peg her at all. You heard me. Uh. Yeah, and, and that's a bit different. Uh. Almost sounds like a different voice actress. Uh. Great, the engine's working. The sounds like she needs some aftercare. The weapons are active. It's all very exciting, all very wonderful. Yes, and I just noticed. <laughs> nice. But yes, if I recall, I attempted to poke the filtration system, but I didn't realize that what I had was a crafting ingredient and not the whole thing. But uh, that is a lovely introduction to this chapter, isn't it? It's beautiful, it's lovely. And I think I decided I would leave you all in a cliffhanger. That's right. It's time. I'll see you all next time.